Hi, I'm John the Engineer, great Canadian gambler, Taj Professor of Poker Systems Engineering. And today I'm going to teach you poker power tool number five from my book, Play Hold 'em Poker Like a Bookie. And it's entitled the Two Card Hands Odd System. It's a simple way to know the chances of a certain group of hands uh, existing, the percentage, figuring it out like that, and being very, very, very close. So, check it out. I made up this little grid so that you can actually see each individual combination of cards as we discuss the probabilities. Now, we know that there are 52 times 51 over 2, and that's 1,326 different combinations. Now, you can have, let's take the first column. It's headed by the ace. Uh, on the top, it says non-suited. Ignore that for a moment. And now we'll go down. Uh, first one is an ace. So the, how many combinations of ace, ace are there to make a pair? Well, six out of 1326. Go down to the king. How many combinations are there? Can you make a king, ace, king? Well, you can make that in 12 different ways, uh, 16 different ways. Four of them are suited, clubs, hearts, diamonds, spades, and the other 12 are unsuited. Now, same thing with every ace-queen, and same thing with every ace-jack, and with every ace-ten, and with every ace-nine, you can have four suited combinations, 12 unsuited. So there are three times as many non-suited combinations as there are suited. Now, if we want to discuss a hand like ace-king suited, we'll weight that one instead of four. And we can do the same thing for the unsuited. We'll weight that three times instead of 12. And that means that the six combination for pairs divided by four, we have to weight that one and a half. Now, what's interesting about this is if we add up all those weights, we have 71 combinations of suited hands. And then we have 78 times 3 combinations of unsuited hands, and that's 234, uh, 34. And we have 13 combinations of pairs times 1.5, which comes to a total weight of 20. And if you add all that up, that comes to 1 quarter of, of 13.26, naturally, 331.5. Now, I said, wow, that comes really close to 333.3, a third of a thousand. So, if we want to know the probability of any group of hands, all we have to do is add up their weights, multiply by three, and drop a zero. And that'll give us an answer with incredibly precise precision. Let's take a few examples. Uh, this too from my book, Play Hold 'em Poker Like a Bookie, uh, at the end where I explain. Uh, let's take a pair of aces there. Well, we know we say there's one combination times a weight of one and a half times three, and that comes to 4.5. Drop at zero, 0.45 percent. Now, the true is 0.4525. But it's an incredibly small error. So that's a, let's take another example. Uh, any pair of aces, kings, or queens. Well, you have three combinations that weigh 1.5, and that comes to 4.5. And then you multiply by three and drop a zero to get 1.35%. And the true weight is 1.3575%. Tiny, tiny error for a fingers and toes kind of a system. How about any pair? Well, there are 13 combinations times a weight of one and a half, that's 19 and a half, times three, drop a zero, that's 558.5, drop a zero, 5.85%, instead of 5.88%. Almost no error. Now, let's look at the ace king suited. Well, there's only one combination, and if you multiply by three and then drop a zero, it comes to 0.3% which is about 330 to 1. Now, let's look at any suited hand. 78 different suited combinations, all the ones down there in blue. And we multiply by 3, that brings us to 23.4% when you drop to 0, instead of 23.53%. Tiny, tiny error. Uh, how about any two spades? Ah, well now you have to actually take your 75 combinations 78 combinations, and divide by 4, because you're only picking spades, not any suited hand. 
So once that's done, you end up with 5.85% having any spade, any two spades, and it's 5.88% regularly, so the error is super tiny. Finally, let's take a look at any king-queen. Well, you have one suited and th three unsuited. That's a weight of four. Times three, drop a zero, is 1.2%. About 80 to 1, 75 to 1. So with a margin, margin of error of only 1 in 200, you can't be more precise with any other fingers and toes counting system. The suited combinations weigh 1, pairs weigh 1.5, and, and unsuited weigh 3. Now let's take an example. This was I was reading from the Poker Player Magazine, the Canadian Poker Player Magazine, Pushing Any Two by Bo Frick, where he goes through an analysis, you know, pointing out that when your chances are good enough, it's worth going all in. But here's a situation he gave us. Assume you'll be called by any pair. Now you had a pair of twos, so assume you'll be called by any pair and any ace with kicker over six and any two Broadway cards. So only two cards bigger than the 10. He says, that constitutes 21.6%. Well, where do you get that number? That's a lot of work for most people to try and figure what that number might be. But with the little poker power tool number five, we count that, oh, we have, normally an ace has 12 suited combinations, but we're dropping four of them. So we have eight suited combinations, weight four, 32. And then we have... 12 pair combinations that beat my deuces times 1.5, 18. So that brings us to 50. And then we, ha and, uh, and then we have the Broadway cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times 4, 24. We bring it to a weight of 74. Multiply by 3, drop a 0, 22.2%. Two. Now, because of the pair of twos, you have to add an extra 1 25th because that's worth 4%. Two of those cards are gone. So that actually the probability of all the hands is increased a little more by 4%. So it actually, if you add an extra 1 25th, when you get your numbers, it comes to 23%. Not bad. And, and I think my number's closer than his number. I don't know where he got 21.6. So there it is. That is how the little... Uh, Poker power tool number five works. You look, count the combinations. The blue ones are the suited ones. And you count the combinations of the unsuited ones and the combinations of the pairs that are against you. Add up the group, get that number, multiply by three, drop a zero, and that's the percent of that group being out there. And if you happen to have two cards taken out of play in your hand, add four percent. Add an extra 25th to your number, and that'll give you almost dead on accuracy. So I'm John the Engineer Termel saying this is the two card hand odd system. I published it many, many years ago and it was only possible because I noticed that 331 is really close to 333, which made multiplying by three and dropping a zero real easy.